morning, B Stav Fishing Nation. It is Tuesday, July 11th. What time are we looking at here? We're right around 20 after 8. I am down here in the backwaters of Strathmere, New Jersey. I'm going to dump the kayak back in here and hit a couple creeks. There's one creek called Whale Creek, another creek called Flat Creek. Uh, we're not too far away from all the fresh water that will eventually be coming in from Corson's Inlet. Uh, low tide is around like 9.20, 9.30-ish, so um, I'm dealing with an outgoing tide, so I'll deal with that for the time being, slack tide. That'll give me some time just to deal with the little bit of breeze that we have here. It's eh, 5 to 10 mile an hour, not too bad. Um, then I have to deal with the, the incoming water, so I'll fish that flat creek, whale creek, one of the two. I'll fish with the tide on the incoming, um, but then... When it comes time to getting back to this ramp that I'm at, well, I'm going to be fighting that tide. So hopefully the legs are in good working order here. I got a little bee zipping around me here. But anyhow, um, down below, guys, please, we're building the nation. I'm getting uh, more people joining my Facebook uh, my Facebook page, Bee Stab Fishing. More people are joining my Instagram page, Bee Stab Fishing as well. Please join both, subscribe to both, like, subscribe to this channel here. I'd love to have you. Say your prayers to the man upstairs. Let's go fishing. Stab fishing nation, we off. We are on on the water. We are on the water. We're gonna try and fish Whale Creek. Or excuse me, we're gonna fish uh, one of these creeks. Chrome Creek, Sneaky Feek. I think we're going to go for uh, Flat Creek. Just going to get myself squared away, balanced. Still got an outgoing tide. Okay, B-Staff Fishing Nation. This is my first time ever fishing back here in Strathmere, New Jersey. It's basically between Sea Isle and Ocean City, right at Corson's Inlet, down the uh, down the intercoastal or down the down the creek from the Duval Inn. So I'm going to fish Flat Creek. Great little launch right here. I believe it's off of Bay Ave. Straight shootout, hook a left, and you are in Flat Creek. So I know it was hot. Before Father's Day, I'll see if it's hot today. Didn't do too bad. Stick around. Watch to the end. Going to do a little catch and cook as well. Ah, it's a little slew right here. Not too far off from where I launched. Just had a little nibble. We'll see what happens here. We're almost at dead low. There should be a dead low. Bird just came down, grabbed something. Should be right around dead low tide now. The only thing moving me is the wind and pedal power. Dude, guys, I got the new vest going. I got the matching orange and gray vests. I got the orange pants. I got the orange and gray water shoes. I look like a clown. A well-coordinated clown. Get myself in, up into Flat Creek here. So, any of you guys that are Lowrance, uh, oh, wait a minute, what do we got going on here? Oh, little bites. Any of you guys that are Lowrance um, users, I have the Elite 4 HDI. Uh, if you would be so kind as to let me know what you do for your updates, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I guess, you know, do I just contact Lowrance? You know, it's pretty much what I do with my Garmin. And, um, 
so I'd like to see if they could have, uh, you know, if I can get whatever's updated, the updated uh, SD card for this area, you know, for south, you know, east coast, basically, northeast. I mean, you know, listen, if I can get something that includes Florida, I'll take it, you know, in case I go down to Florida with this. Um, but uh, it's a great unit. Great unit. I'm just trying to stay in some deeper water. Again, being we're dealing with uh, low tide, you know, the fish kind of will tend to consolidate in that deeper water, come off the flats a little bit. Now, if there's still water on the flats, hey, they're going to sit in there and be warming up too on those flats. Right now, the water is 79.6 degrees. I just came from 10 foot of water. Now I'm in 7 foot of water. So, again, total learning curve here. I'm actually coming up on a flat. I want to get off of this before I'm before I bottom out here although we all know and flounder are caught three foot of water right so I'm in five foot of water so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work this five foot four foot area and then I'm going to get myself back into the come back down around into this deeper water so assuming I know where I'm at here I'm doing this the right way and somebody up Flat Creek there on a boat, towing a towing a tube. Thank goodness they stayed up that way because that's a lot of weight coming by. All right, we're dropping down, dropping down. I am all for people uh, enjoying the water recreationally, fishing, boating, tubing, kayaking. Jet skis, get out there, enjoy yourself. I just have to make sure that I'm safe, right? So it's one of the reasons I probably won't be in a kayak on the weekends unless I'm out there at the wee hours of the morning. But nothing was really popping right now until this tide started to change. Tide will start coming in soon, but man, if you look at look at these sod banks, there's a, you know, that's three feet, three feet worth of drop in tide, pretty amazing. I could turn this into a clamming trip too. Never thought about that. I do miss having a, you know my 12 12 foot John boat. That was always a lot of fun. But I just didn't know a lot of a lot of areas to go. You know, thing is, you get in that John boat, you go out at low tide, and you find you find them mud flats. Let's see if you get some clammies. Guys and girls, if you fish out this way, let me know. Let me know uh, what your hot spots are. You know, comment down below. I'm in Flat Creek in Strathmere, New Jersey. Right? Between Ocean City and Sea Isle. Right behind Strathmere. Let me know what you guys think. Where do you fish? You know, I'm thinking about doing a bee stav fishing kayak day on the bay with viewers. Uh, we have a lot of viewers that have kayaks. And I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. And back here seems like a really great place. We'd have to try and do it during the middle of the week just to escape the, the weekend craziness. This way we can all kind of concentrate on each other and, uh, you know, get a little back and forth, a little banter, a little competition, and honestly, most, most importantly, camaraderie. So if you guys are interested, be stav fishing day on the bay kayak day on the bay i'm thinking back here in strathmere um also we could do hertford's uh hertford's area of north wildwood let me know what you think i know uh, some of you guys uh that follow me on instagram and facebook have definitely reached out to me and uh you know a lot of invites and i cannot thank you enough for all the invites um and uh i'd love to get out fishing with you guys you know a lot of youtubers they try to they stay, you know, solitary. You know, they might bring people out on their boat if they have a boat, but they kind of just stay, you know, amongst within their own little circle. And and I get it. Believe me, I get it. Um, you have to concentrate on your on your product. You know what I mean? On your channel. Um, but the same token, I like to concentrate on my friends, my new friends, my old friends. And you know my viewers. You know you guys are just not just viewers. Um, you, you're going to turn into friends one way or another. You know, 
some of you have been with me from the very start and it's it's so greatly appreciated so all right guys let's uh let's keep it going guys nothing yet a couple little nibbles i'm expecting things to turn on when this tide turns hopefully i'm right i've been wrong before i know i'll be able to cover more of this channel this creek rather it'll push me this way inlets out that way there so as of right now i'm just kind of bopping around getting to learn where the holes are at the flats and uh we will go from there oh, oh, oh man that was a whack okay let's see that was a pretty pretty good hit whatever that was was a pretty good hit all right lip glue the stink and red white and blue baby i love this stuff i put this stuff on everything Gotta get used to this new jacket so I know where all my stuff's at. I gotta get used to getting away from this mud bank, sod bank here before I get way too acquainted with it. Right now I'm just dealing with a breeze coming at me this way. So you turn the nose of the kayak into the breeze. Again, I don't have reverse, you know, but I have a shorter little paddle here that I, I used to keep on my on my john boat in the event that i have to grab something real quick just to kind of either stop myself real fast or you never know you know something that's nice and quick quick and easy to grab on full lounder yay six foot of water 6.9 seven foot of water yeah awesome guys i literally just just turn the camera off turn the camera off and here we go all right little buddy all right there, little little Johnny. All right, little buddy. Let's get you unhooked. Man, he was wow. Oh, man, you ripped your jaw apart, pal. I'm sorry. Sorry to see that. It's a success. Um, lip glue. Lip glue for the win. Lip glue for the win on that one. Let's go back with it. Got to remember to hold things up here. I apologize, guys, if I'm getting out of frame here. Hold, remember to hold stuff up. Six foot of water. Six, seven, almost seven foot of water. Okay. Oh, where's the clicker at? Darn it. I forgot my click. I don't have a clicker. All right, guys, keep keep me honest here. That's one. Seven foot of water. So, didn't bite until I got in the lower, the shallower water. And I imagine this water is going to cool off once the incoming... You know, the tide changes and we get that strong incoming coming from Corson's Inlet. But, you know, will that turn them off or will that turn them on? Because now, you know, you got highly oxygenated water coming in off the ocean. Bait fish are going to start getting active. You know, flounder will start getting active. Because once, so when the water starts to get too warm, and guess what? Then these guys will, they'll, they'll school up in the deeper, deeper sloughs where the water's a little cooler. So, you know, you know, you kind of have to figure out what what it is they're doing. What what are they doing at that point in time? This point in the season, you know. Trips a success. Caught a fish. Trips a success. I put uh, power handles on uh, on all my Quantum, my uh, Energy S3s, and my Quantum Accurists. Um, so, if link is down below, guys, I think uh, you'll see on. The one video with me and Big Ed out in the uh, at the reef, I had a little issue where this cap came off. So what I did, I uh, took that cap off, put a little Loctite on it, and then then really you know locked it down, screwed it down tight, and uh, to the knob. And I think I'm okay. I think I'll be all right. So 
you know as opposed to spending 60 60 bucks 50 60 bucks on a uh, on a power handle see what these ones for you know 20 and below do oh baby holy do holy do oh could be what ass right here oh no we're good holy do holy do am i getting a double wake got double weight all right when i make this turn up here i gotta stay to the right where it's deeper got it thank you navionics guys no sense in not having navionics on your phone right all right guys so far we got one tide should start to turn anytime stay tuned like subscribe say your prayers to the man upstairs hit me up instagram facebook links down below little lip glue Okay. The stink, stinky stanker. Back down. Here we go. Come on. Yes. That's a flounder. Alrighty. Come on, baby. Shake off. See you later. All right. Apparently that's, I think I just dropped the mark there. We'll see. Drop a waypoint. That's two, baby. Keep me honest, guys. That's two. Look at that, guys. Put a fresh bait on. Wow, yellow. How about that? Chartreuse. Fresh bait and I got a chartreuse. Hmm. Fresh bait, chartreuse for the win. Hey, little pal. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, let's just help you uh, settle down. Settle down, settle down. Oh, settling. All right, that, that's not settling. That's just splashing the sh shoot out of me. But Number three, guys. Number three. Going straight to the bottom. Oh, this is a good fish. Good fish. Keep keep reeling, Bob. Keep reeling. Oh, very good fish. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, holy macaroni, he saw the net, holy, I got a mouthful of salt water, baby, oh, he saw the net, oh my goodness, oh, if I get this fish in here, it'll be a miracle, oh, he jumped over the net, are you kidding me, get in, all right, jeez, that was dramatic, oh my goodness gracious, wow that was that was just drama there's all sorts of drama we just don't need man we're all hooked up here all right what's going on let's get this unhooked here that was awesome <sighs> All right, pal, all right, all right. Yep, you're definitely staying. Not sure what you weigh or what you measure, but whatever it is, you're staying right here. And that guy and I uh, just had a conversation about, oh, they're all short fish back here. <laughs> Not necessarily so. Oh, and he came on, he's unhooked. So he'll stay right where he's at. Get this unhooked, okay. Oh, I just hooked myself in a leg twice okay that's free and clear 
me hang on to him for just a second. We good here? All right, let's get this all squared away. Stay tuned. 17 and a half inch. He's caught fish. <clears throat> we'll bleed him out later. Guys, that was awesome. That was some crazy stuff right there. Did you see that thing airborne? Holy mackerel. Uh oh, I think he's got a friend. Hold on. our way back up the hill here reminds me of my old days when I was in charge of our honor guard I still got it I just didn't know where I put it all right guys this is so much fun uh, what do you think? What do you think about the B Stav fishing kayak day on the bay? Let me know. Comment down below. Ronaldo, where are you? Where's my, my guy Bob, Brian, Super Mags? Guys, let's. And I know I'm missing a bunch of you. Um, it'll be awesome. Awesome out. We were all out here together because this is nice and wide right here, too. We could all partner up with a little verse of Kumbaya and catch some fish. Oh, yeah. I have a stingray in here, I think. Let me right over here. Seeing two fins. Two fins. I want no parts of a cow nose ray. No parts whatsoever. Oh boy. That's a sleigh ride. Just like I said about camaraderie out on the water. I saw these two gentlemen at the ramp when I was launching. And now we're uh, we're just chit-chatting as we're drifting. And that's that's what it's all about, guys. Picture us a whole whole armada of us in, in kayaks back here and you know whatever boat you want i don't care but you don't have to be a kayaker if you if you trailer your boat let's all get back here this will be a great time be stab fishing kayak and boat day on the bay let you do it man that was awesome i met a retired cop pete from millville met another gentleman steve retired electrician from vineland Steve was on a uh, Hobie Mirage. Really nice, nice outfit there. Very stable, sturdy, sitting on top. Got the reverse drive, Mirage 180. Oh, 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 come on. And uh, Steve's been retired, or I'm sorry, Steve's been retired for, God, a while. God bless him. And uh, Pete's been out for several years. He was back here on a big John boat, big aluminum John boat. I had like a, God, I think like a 40 horse Tiller Yamaha on it. What nice guys. That's what it's all about right there. Alrighty. Beast stab fishing. Oh, just got slammed in the face with a bug. All right, guys. And ladies, Beast stab fishing nation. Gonna call it a day. Wind's coming, feels like it's coming out of the east. Was well, coming out of northeast, now feels like it's coming dead out of the east, maybe a little southeast. And I'm pedaling against wind and pedaling against tide. And I'll tell you what, I'm doing two and a half mile per hour. And I'm not really, you know, not pushing it too hard. Just taking it easy. So, all good, guys. Caught, uh, I think we wound up catching, what, half a dozen? Give or take, coming home with dinner. Another successful outing on the beast stab kayak life's good and met some friends like subscribe say your prayers to the man upstairs maybe i'll show you how i cook this one stay tuned go fishing hey beast stab fishing nation oh man i think i need to put a battery in here all right let's do a little catch clean and cook shall we let's go welcome to my house all righty 
here we go everybody let's see a little extra virgin olive oil not much though so we're gonna i'm gonna saute a pepper a little bit not a whole lot don't need a whole lot because i'm going to be using everybody's favorite bacon all right let's pick a knife shall we let's pick this knife here get that cut off let's get the oh yeah get a little little flame rooney going guys pull this part out okay if you want to get rid of whatever's in there give them a little rinse rid them excuse my kitchen a little bit i'm a little on the messy side today let's cut this down down the center see if i can keep my head bent down so you guys can see this down the center down the center these are uh little italian sweet peppers called uh cubanelles i believe mm, cut them let's go like this go like that easy enough let's cook them down guys you're just going to cook them just want to get them in the oil nothing fancy right cook them down once they start to cook down and sizzle up we should be good shit let's cut this piece down a little bit all right they'll start sizzling no, no sense in clobbering them now look will you look this is a bag of bacon are you kidding me a bag of bacon like, how do you go wrong with a bag of bacon? And it's already, it's pre-cooked. So, this is perfect if you wanted to put this into a salad. Pre-cooked bacon all chopped up. I'm going to put this into a salad and uh, in a sandwich, crisp it up. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put that in here as well. I'm going to crisp that up as well, okay? So, again, I'm not going to, I don't want to overcook those, uh, those peppers. So, those peppers are they're just going to get hit just a little bit. All right, so the flounder is trimmed. Now it's trimmed. Flounder's been trimmed, been rinsed very quickly, and patted dry, okay? Rinsed, patted dry. Let's move that out of the way so I don't wear it. And let's see what we're gonna use. Uh, I am in the mood for a little Old Bay garlic and herb, okay? Old Bay garlic and herb. So let's, let's give the flounder a little love. Old Bay garlic and herb. You know, listen, you cover it to your taste. I love Old Bay. This garlic and herb is really tasty. We got peaches and herb. Well, we got a garlic and herb. You flip it. Flip it, get both sides. Give it as much as you like. You know, healthy. Healthy sprinkle if that's what you want. Now. Guys, one of these is from the gray side or the brown side. One of these is from the white side. That being said, we will put the thicker piece on first. All right. So let's let this sizzle up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Looks like I did that before, huh? Yep, I've did that. I've done that before. It's been all over the floor. All right, let's let that sizzle up. We'll check back in a minute. That's looking pretty good, starting to brown. Take a spatula, where did my spatula go? Take a spatula, and here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna let the fish cook within this, okay? In, in this bacon grease, all right? Delicious, yep, I know, not healthy, don't care. All right, we're dry, we're in. Put him in first, okay? He's gonna take the longest to cook. Now, I was gonna cut up some vegetables on here, guys, I had raw fish on here. Big no-no, right? So this knife is done. That knife is done. I'm gonna make a little salad. Okay, my beautiful neighbor Kim across the street gave me, oh my God, cucumbers. She gave me um, zucchini, tomatoes. She's the one that actually gave me the, the bacon. Put this over here. We see the bacon. Bag of mozzarella, mozzarella. You folks that don't understand what I just said. Um, oh, cucumber salad, nothing fancy here. Boop, get rid of the, the end. Beautiful little cherry tomatoes. I believe these are from her garden. Cut them up. Do this without getting myself sliced in two. Again, guys, you know, you got to be careful. Just like cooking fish. I, I'd rather eat from where raw fish was than where raw, raw chicken was. Raw chicken, you're going to the hospital. Raw fish, you know, if it's... You know, sushi, right? Sushi grade. All right, let's put this skinny little guy in there too. Let him get in there. 
I think we're almost ready to flip that big piece. I don't like, don't overcook your fish, guys. Don't overcook your fish, okay? Go low and slow. Don't overcook your fish. Okay, let them cook a little bit. With that simmer and shimmer. All right. I'm going to go very simple. Salt. Pepper. Basic, basic, basic. Salt, pepper. We're going to go balsamic vinegar. And olive oil. Hold on one second. Guys, a little calavita. Calavita balsamic vinegar of Modena. Monica, Modena. Nothing fancy. Very simple, guys. Very, very simple. Because I'm starving. I didn't eat breakfast. Not good, right? Didn't eat breakfast. A little bit of olive oil. Boop. That's enough. Let's give that a little, little mix up. That's that. That's that's simple, okay? Simple, fresh, picked from the garden probably yesterday. Awesome. Now, let's check in on this skinny little piece. Yup, we are getting there. We are getting there. Wait till you see what we're about to do here. Don't get jealous. I do not want, want you guys getting jealous on me. Whoop, give him a flip. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I missed him. I didn't flip him all the way. Ah, huh? uh, Bob, you big dummy. You big, let's just, you know what, just pop it off and flip it. No big deal. It's all going the same place on my plate. Now, let that cook, cook down, all right, or cook so we're white. Let's put this on top, okay? Get the bacon, get the peppers, get them on top of that fish as best you can. Doesn't have to look pretty, guys. This isn't date night. I'm trying to eat. Okay, looks good. Now, for the fi finishing touch, guys, I threw a little bit of black pepper in there as well, okay? Finishing touch. Mozzarella cheese on top. Some just went on the stove. Mozzarella cheese. Oh, sweet. How do you go wrong with bacon and cheese? And whatever else. You can throw bacon, cheese, and a sneaker in there, and it'd be delicious, right? This little guy, everybody in the pool. Bacon cheese, fresh peppers, fresh caught flounder, nice little salad. Stand by for a little bit and then I'll plate this. Are you ready? Oh, thank you. Thanks for stopping in my kitchen, guys. Catch clean cook. Yo, bee, stab, fishing, kayak and boat day on the bay. I'm telling you, we, we got to make this work. I think we could do it. We could do it. Strap fan was looking pretty cool. That flat creek. Plenty of room, plenty of room. Guys, here we go. Moment. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Look at that. Wow. A moment of truth. All right, so now we gotta get this from point A. This is my friendship plate. Years ago, one of my old schoolmates graduated a year behind me in high school um, with my sister, Maria Elena Cacciavolano. What a gorgeous name, right? I believe she brought me, left a plate of Christmas cookies on my front doorstep when I was a police officer. And I said, do you want your plate back? Nope, that's a friendship plate. So I've been using that plate now. Uh, it might be close to 15 years. All right, guys, let's put this on here. Boop, get every, oh, there's cheese and bacon in there. Don't let, they all have a job to do. And that is to make me fat. Let's go, get in there. Okay. Guys, are you looking? Are you looking? Healthy salad, not so healthy entree. All right, let's uh, let's give this a taste, shall we? Make sure that our uh, flounder is cooked through and through. Yep, nice and white all the way through. Oh, oh, that's gonna be hot. I can feel it. Definitely gonna be hot. I'm gonna get everything. I got all the flavors in there, right? Hang on. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I know, I, I'm like, sometimes I'm like, you really supposed to do this? Am I supposed to like chew and talk with my mouth full? But you know what? I try not to chew loud, but I want to try this, okay? <laughs> oh my God. I got to go. I'm going to eat this while it's hot. That is so good. So good. So simple. 
Hardest part, really, was having the pre-cooked bacon chopped up already. All right, let's see how our salad tastes here. We got good over. Get a tomato. Right. Guys, that, that they were probably on the vine yesterday. Amazing, amazing. Oh, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, say your prayers always to the man upstairs. God bless you. God bless America. Go fishing.